the actual pitch arm screw loosened totally so it's backed out a couple turns this is now free as a bird so it is in this actual uh, angle that uh, we've got going on here with the face of those. Here's what I think is going on I believe that the thickness of the link right here on this face is too long and it's making this be pushed in this direction. In other words, the, the um, blade grip is lagging the slider. If you look at the slider underneath, it's basically vertical and this is a little bit down uh, in this direction because it looks like this is too long and that's basically cocking the bushing in there. So I'm going to pop these links off and just trim a little bit off this face and see if it gets rid of that problem. Now you can see a little gap there where you see the uh, you can see the bushing through there. Um, got a little carried away on this one. It's tough to cut just a little teeny bit off of these. Um, just be really careful because it's easy to dive in and take too much. This won't affect anything. Um, the only thing that face does is it does drive the slider, but um, I don't think that'll be a problem. Um, so that's it. Now we have nice free motion, full direction without binding. Um, obviously as we get close to the pitch arm it gets almost over center so it's a little bit a little bit uh, catchy at the, not catchy but you can just feel a little bit more force as it gets almost over center. But now we have a free tail that's nice and smooth. Tightening those screws, just snug them, let the Loctite do its work. If you tighten those too tight you start to swell the bushing and it'll start to bind again. Okay, even after all that carrying on we have nice free pivot of the link in the pitch slider but we've still got bind on that bushing even after uh, we trimmed the, the side length. I'm going to take the X-Acto knife and trim just chamfer the edge of each edge of the link, the hole, uh, where there tends to be just a, a small flash from there and see if that helps any. One side bushing free as a bird um, we're good to go on that but on this side, even with the chamfers, we've got a little bind. It's enough that the toothpick will stay there by itself. So we'll look in the hole and see what we can do to, if there's a burr or something in there. So I'll just take that bushing and give it a couple spins on, uh, wedge the bushing on the toothpick and uh, just give it a little spin until we, on 600 paper here, until we get, uh, get a fit that works. Okay, finally we've got where we're free on all the links there. It doesn't take much side loading to cause them to bind, so I'm not, I don't know what's going to happen when we actually put it on. We'll see what it looks like uh, once we get it on the, the tail. Finally, pitch slider goes to both extremes, no binding. I'll put the force gauge on now and see what we've got from end to end. Test setup for the T250 tail, just showing how we're powering this at speed. We've got a variable speed Dremel tool here um, that is speeds adjustable up to I think uh, 30,000. So we're just going to run it at 20, which is just about the tail speed of the um, heli in flight. Um, we just got it fastened down. We have our uh, tail section fastened solid, so it's not going to go anywhere. We have our trusty force gauge sitting there and uh, we will put the camera on tripod so we can watch this in action. This is the setup just checking the push rod force through the range. We're just bumping the ends there. It's roughly less than half an ounce as we go through the full range. As you can see there, the forces are pretty high, um, very high. Uh, so whatever micro tail servo or mini tail servo that's on there is uh, working real hard. Okay, this is with the spacers between the bearings. Um, also, new bearings. Um, I found that even 
I did this test uh, before with the bearings that I was working with, with all the other testing you saw, and uh, the bearings were definitely the problem. Uh, the forces were still high, it was very still draggy. Um, put it back together with the uh, bushings between the, the spacers between the bearings and new bearings, and we'll see what we get now, which is a much better uh, situation. Okay, we saw there nice crisp motion, um, 12, 13 ounces at both extremes of travel, smooth, um, no stickiness anywhere. So all that was just to get to the point to where we could actually design the Chinese weights for these to drop that 12, 13 ounces down to uh, a reasonable level.